So here's a vintage Sears lantern I've been working on, off and on. Uh, looks fairly normal until I turn it on. It's now battery powered. I uh, wanted to build one that looked original, but of course was battery powered, but not fluorescent and appear overall to be gas powered. So what did I do? Disassembled it, cleaned everything. Of course it was all crispy from being used. The burner assembly, I fed wires through it. I had pictures, but of course they got messed up and I couldn't use them, but I kind of drew it here. So the blue part is what threads into the fuel tank right in the middle. And then the red part at the bottom has your adjuster assembly, which of course I didn't put back on because I stuffed wires through there, the red part all the way around to each uh, where the mantles go. And then up here at the top, of course, was an MF for trying to get the wires through there. Uh, hook tools and pushing and cursing and all kinds of stuff. And of course, I had these longer pieces they unscrew, so I had those off. But then fed it through. I used some wire like this, not too big. I don't know what it is. 16 gauge, maybe. And then fed it through. JB welded bulb holders on here and then they're just car I forget 1156 1157 one of those uh, LED bulb on there I'll put a link in the description for that stuff and 12 volt I'm running currently a RC car 2s battery which is about 14.4 volts in the tank I cut a hole in the bottom and just have it set in there. Eventually I'll use the piece I cut off, maybe get some cool hinges or something so I can put that back on there for the battery door. So the wire goes from the tank through a hole that I had to drill next to where the burner connects and power comes up. So off on, so there's my low and high. I knew LEDs wouldn't be able to do full-on dimming, but that's pretty good, right? Two settings, basically dim and high. Then, of course, like I said, wires go up and then go down and put the socks on there so they look the part. And when they're on full bright, they really do glow. Kind of hard to see the bulbs directly. So future plan, uh, besides cleaning it up, it's still a little dirty and stuff, is this knob pulls off. I painted it blue, it was green to match this, but I have the original gas adjuster knob thing and I drilled it to fit on the, the splines on here, but of course I went a little too far so I threw some JB Weld in there to let it dry and then that should really give it the look. And then it came with a blind for the back, a reflector. So if I want to make it directional, but for now, I think I'll just leave it like this. And of course, I have the glass out just to show you guys so I can point at stuff. But also down the road, I want to make an 18650 uh, battery pack, probably eight cells to give it nice long uh, run time. And then, uh, yeah, use it and see how long it all lasts. So hope this inspires you to build something. And... Uh, Gives you some ideas. Enjoy.